In this clip, you are going to learn how to play the Timeliner simulation of the tasks that you added in the Task tab. To do that, let's switch over to the Navisworks window. Okay, so this is the model that we were working with in the previous clip. To play the simulation, we'll go to the Simulate tab. And the first thing that we need to do is change the start date. For that, we'll click on the Settings button available here. By default, it automatically picks up the start date of your simulation and the end date of the simulation based on the tasks that you have added. To override the dates, we'll have to first select the tick box that says Override Start and End Dates. And then I'm going to change the start date instead of 23rd to 22nd. And the reason is because we want to play our simulation the day before the construction starts. So the first task appears after the construction starts, not before. So I'm going to change this to 22nd. Now when I go and say OK, it starts with a blank screen as you could see. Generally in the model you'll have the site and the civil work as well. In that case if you just want to play the simulation of construction, you can leave the site as is and not play the simulation for that. So if I now want to play the simulation, I'll simply click on the play button available here. I'll also press the F11 key to play the simulation on the full screen mode. Now as you can see it plays the simulation in the full screen mode. So there you go. As you could see it started with the structural tasks then it went to HVAC, electrical, plumbing and then finally architectural tasks. The reason it did that was because that's how the files were appended to create this federated model and all the architectural tasks were available at the bottom. Now generally that's not the case. The architectural task would actually be completed soon after the structural task and also some of the tasks would overlap. However, when you add simulation based on the topmost layers, you cannot control that automatically. To control that, you can go and change the dates of those tasks. But the whole idea of this simulation was to quickly show someone how easy it is to create a timeliner simulation in order as Navis works if you just want to show the concept. You will also notice that on the top left of your screen, there's some overlay text displayed. Let's now look at how to modify this overlay text. I'll press F11 to go back to my normal screen display. And then I'll go back to the settings button. And then when I click on edit under overlay text, I can now decide what text I want to be displayed. We can see that there's some code displayed here. That code relates to the number of days in the week, the current day and so on. To go to the next line, I can press control and enter. However, I want to first start with changing the color. So for that, I'll click at the start of this line of text. And under colors, I'm going to go and say blue. So the first line of text would be displayed blue color. Now I'm going to go and say control enter to go to the next line. In this line now I want to first change the color. So I'll go and assign green color to this line of text. And the information that I want to be added here is the information about the currently active task. So for that I'll go to the extras and click on currently active tasks. Now I also want to change the font. Instead of the font being Tahoma, I want Arial. So I'll click on fonts for that. And then I'll go and say Arial. I'll make it bold and italic. And I'll change the size to 12. I can also now decide whether the text is displayed on the top left or some other location. For that I'll first click OK in this dialog box. And now in this list on the right of edit button, I can decide where I want the text to be displayed. If I click none, obviously the overlay text will not be displayed. So I'll leave it as top. I'll click OK. I can see that the bold text doesn't look right. So I'll go and change it to italic only.
And now when I go and play the simulation, and as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to play the simulation in the full screen mode. For that, once I click the play button, I'll also press the F11 key. As you can see, the simulation is now playing with the modified text, which is Arial Italic Blue in the first line and Green in the second line. The second line of text, which is green, only shows the currently active tasks. Whereas the first line shows you the current date, current time, number of days and weeks into the project. There you go. So that's completed the simulation. Let's press the F11 key to go back to our normal Navisworks window. As you can see, we tweaked some of the basic options to play the Timeliner simulation. Let's now look at some of the other advanced options where we can go and add a viewpoint animation so the model also orbits as you play the simulation. For your convenience, I've already created a viewpoint animation that you can link to this Timeliner simulation. Let me first play that viewpoint animation for you. For that, I'll have to first go back to the Tasks tab. Let me hide the Timeliner window now. And under the Save Viewpoints, under Animations, we can already see an animation called For Timeliner. Now, the important thing to understand is the duration of this particular animation is 60 seconds. Let me play this animation for you. This animation was created by first adding viewpoints all around the building. And then I added a blank animation and then added the viewpoints to that particular animation. I then went and changed the duration of that animation to 60 seconds. As you can see, the whole idea of this animation is to show you the buildings using various cameras around it. And when we add this animation to a timeliner simulation, it gives us a better view of constructions from various cameras around the building. Now, if you want, you can make it a bit more complicated by adding animations inside the building as well, just in case you want to concentrate on the services tasks, showing the installation of various services inside the building. I want to now link this animation to my Timeliner simulation. The important thing for that is make sure under Saved Viewpoint, you've got this animation selected. And now in my Timeliner window, on the Simulate tab, let's go back to the Settings option. Under Animation, I'm going to go and say Saved Viewpoints Animation. Also, this is where you can change the playback duration. Our current playback duration is 20 seconds. Let's say I want to bump it to 60 seconds. If I leave it as 20 seconds, Navisworks will automatically reduce the duration of the viewpoint animation to 20 seconds to match this particular simulation. Let's go and click OK now and we'll play the simulation. And again, I'm going to play it in the full screen mode by pressing the F11 key after I press the play button. As you can see, it's not only playing the construction simulation, but it is also using the viewpoint animation that we link to the Timeliner simulation to orbit the model around. And as you can see, it gives us a better view of this construction simulation. As I mentioned earlier, you can also have the viewpoint animation created inside the building, just in case you want to concentrate on the services tasks to show how the services would be installed in this construction simulation. One of the things that you can notice in this simulation is that the camera is being rotated throughout this simulation, which means that it is continuously rotating the model, not pausing at a particular location. In case you want the animation to be paused at a particular camera location, for that you can use what we call as animator cameras. You're going to learn about that later on in this course. So that's the end of the simulation. I'm going to press the F11 key now. This is the end of this clip. In this clip, you learned how to play the simulation by tweaking some of the basic options in the simulate settings. Before we proceed any further, I'm going to go back to the Tasks tab. I'll see you in the next clip where we are going to learn how to create automatic tasks for every topmost item in the selection tree. See you there.